years of blues and gospel music in North Carolina. 2007, Pop Ferguson was recognized by the National Performing Arts Council, the Blue Ridge Natural Heritage Area, the North Carolina Arts Council, and others. In 2008, he was inducted into the Smithsonian Institution, Institute and the Library of Congress, an outstanding musician. His son, Clyde Ferguson, leads the band that will be entertaining us now. And if you fellows are about ready, we'll welcome the Pop Ferguson Blues Review Band, led wow. by Pop's son, Clyde Ferguson, with Lance Main, <laughs> Wade Schreitz, and Scott Snipes, and Evan Douglas. You ready? Let's go. First of all, I want to thank the Music Factory for inviting us down. For those of you, some of you knew Pop, uh, but for those who didn't, uh, give you a quick overview. Of course, as you know, he's, uh, he was just read that he was inducted Smithsonian Institute and Library of Congress. But um, Pop grew up in Wilkes County for 10 years or so, and then they moved to Lenore. And Pop learned to, started learning to play guitar. He, he, he said he was totally in love with playing guitar. And so uh, his father, my grandfather, was a holiness preacher. And so they didn't have a guitar, but they'd send Pop down two doors down when it got Sunday morning to, to pick up the uh, guitar from the cousin. And so Pop said he would go get it, and on his way down, he would he'd get the guitar to come back, and he'd sit down, and he'd play a little bit for his cat and his dog, and to go back and give the guitar to his, his dad. And so finally, there was a circus coming through Wilkesboro, and uh, a, guy, a man named Mr. Levette made a deal. He says, I'll, I'll teach that boy how to play guitar if you let me uh, sleep here when, after the circus is down. So they did. So he taught Pop how to play in, in open tuning, and Pop got where he was strumming some songs, and then he started playing, of course, with a family choir. He had seven brothers, or six brothers, Pop making seven of the children. So Pop would play, and, um, and while I was going. So they sort of recognized that, yeah, this guy, this kid can play. Um, he had another sister that taught piano and played piano and wanted to play drums. And so then, once, one uh, tent meeting time, some of you are young enough to remember tent meetings, aren't you? Um, so he, They'd been practicing his piece of music, but see what was they didn't know was on the way home from school, Pop would swing by the juke joint and sit outside and he'd give somebody a nickel to go in and put a uh, a nickel into the piccolo and he would listen to the piece of music. Then he'd run home and he'd practice it. So he'd, doing this this tent revival, they were they were doing uh, when the saints go marching in, and uh, and so. Got Pop's turn to do his little lead part. He looked over at his brother Sam and said, Watch this. <laughs> so Pop had just learned Blind Boy Fuller's piece of music, Step It Up and Go. Well, he cut loose with that Step It Up and Go. He only got through about half a verse on his guitar for the, his father stopped the church service and threw him out of church. <laughs> And so that is one time that his guitar really got him in trouble. And so then, Mr. Lance, are you ready? Yeah, so then, one other story, quick story. And, and my dad, trust me, he a uh, good man, but he was a total Jew joint man, right? I mean, that's, how he, that's what he did most of his life, all of his life. So one day he, was, he needed some money, so he stopped on the street corner there in Friedman, uh, up in Illinois, once when I stopped on the street corner to put his guitar case out and he started playing and just a large crowd of people would come. So they were throwing money into his case and he's playing and somebody turned around and Pop's sitting here but he had a half a gallon of uh, hooch underneath his uh, <laughs> underneath his chair and he's playing and drinking and so um, somebody said, Clyde, here, here, comes the, here comes the police. And as soon as he said that, he broke loose with So anyway, the, uh, the officer came up and he said to him, he says, 
Well, young man, if you would do that again, I'll give you this dollar. <laughs> so, so the police officers gave him a dollar also, and, and of course they never saw the hooch underneath the <laughs> underneath the, uh, the chair. And so that's the time that his guitar actually kept him from going to jail. Um, Pop again, one more time. My dad uh, was extremely talented. Um, he never took any guitar lessons at all, but God gave him a gift that I wish he that I had. Uh, my music studies, I, I went to school. I went to Shenandoah Conservatory of Music and many other schools. Um, but Pop could just hear something being played, and the next thing you know, he was playing it. Uh, one more quick little story. We were working for a show, and this guy said, Pop, what do you think about this? And he plays this really nice jazz piece. Well, Pop just wouldn't play jazz, right? The guy gets to playing his piece, and Pop says, I like to play it in this key. So he played everything the guy played before him, but all in a different key. So that was that's Pop first, and that's how he did. So we're going to sing now for you. And, and in your program, it says that we were going to do a change is going to come. For whatever reason, our timing is not good on that today. Um, so we're going to, his granddaughter, his great, great. granddaughter, my granddaughter, um, is going to do her tribute to Pop. She's going to do a Merle Haggard tune. Um, and then we're going to go into one of the Gospels that Pop really liked. All right.
we, we Pop and I um, spent really uh, 12 years just, just playing and got to spend a lot of close time together. Um, <clears throat> but we got asked to do a wedding. And I'm like, when, when, when we do blues. <laughs> and, then I'm, and Pop's like, why oh, they want us to do a wedding? Yeah. And, and we had 400 songs. But 99% of them bash women. <laughs> and anyways, so Pop picked out a song that would work well with weddings. And this, this song was one that he gave. He sang and he would give advice to the couple. This song is called Ain't Nobody's Business. <laughs>
again, two things. Thanks for inviting us. Um, all you folks that's in the area, the guys here, pass the word that the music factory is doing an awesome job. Give the, the music, give the music factory a hand. Thank you. If, uh, just in case anybody's interested, um, we do have some CDs at the uh, window that when you have a break or when you go out, or when you go out, um, we'd like to do that. But again, so um, we're going to now close with Pop's theme song, even though we had to change it since Pop is gone. Um, again, his granddaughter, his favorite granddaughter, the one <laughs> I to tell you. I say favorite, he, he loved them all. But so their birthdays were close together. So, and she's probably um, eight, nine, ten years old, something like that. And so Pop says, well, good, we're going to have a birthday party. She says, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, she's, and Pop says, well, what do you want for your birthday? She said, a Nintendo. He says, okay. I'm going to pop you what you disagreed to. He says, no, what is it? What is a ten dollar? <laughs> so when I told, told him what it cost, he had a heart attack. <laughs> but anyways, but again, so we're going to do, uh, instead of I'm a man, she's going to do I'm a woman. <laughs> well, I heard some women agreeing with that thing. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.
Heaven, what grade are you in? church praise band and when we do this little light, little light of mine it just don't sound that good <laughs> uh, let me call heaven douglas and clyde ferguson to the stand to induct your grandfather your dad into the hall of fame Devin and Clyde, we present this plaque to you in honor of Bob Ferguson, inducting him into the Music Factory Hall of Fame. Thank you. Thank you. Again, thank you, Rick. Thank you, uh, Hickory Music Factory. Um, and again, uh, the Arts Council of Hickory uh, doing an awesome job around here. So we thank you. Um, gosh, I, what else can I say? So thank you for coming out. Um, if we play again, please come visit us. Come, come see us. Um, because what we want to do is keep the blues alive because it's a piece of history. Um, and so we try to keep that piece of history alive the way that it should be, not, not knocking all the stuff that they do today, but but the old stuff, the stuff that Pop represented, the stuff that got him put in the Smithsonian Institute. So again, thank all of you very much. Thank you. Good night.